Hello, and welcome to the Trashy Girl's Guide to Selling Sexy Masks While Not Entirely Sober. I'm Charlie Hester, your host for the evening. We're going to make some masks. You will need fabric. Hello. You will need scissors and a sewing machine and an iron and probably a bunch of other things that I'm not thinking of that I will remember when they are required. You will also need your choice of alcohol, marijuana, or Xanax. That is the best guide that, <laughs> that's the best thing you can do <laughs> while sewing. Also, please understand that as you sew, swearing is entirely acceptable, if not, in fact, essential, like grocery stores and dispensaries. Is your stencil. I chose to make this stencil, um, this type of mask, which looks like this. Because I apparently didn't want to do the flat ones and I enjoy making things 10 times harder on myself than they actually need to be. So you take your stencil and you have two pieces of fabric. You'll see that these are kind of rectangular in their shape and the wrong sides are together. Oh fuck, there's three. Hold on, I gotta fix this. They are wrong sides together. You can tell by the color of the, uh, of the fabric. Okay, and then what you are going to do is put this on here and you are going to trace it. Is it working? <laughs> it kind of feels weird. <laughs> I haven't been touched in forever. I miss hugging people. I miss physical interaction. Okay, cool. So that's a good start to our thing and it does not look like we are intoxicated whatsoever. Trace, 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 trace. Okay. And then you see we have this very um, professionally traced outline. And now what we are going to do is put it into our sewing machine and we are going to sew this seam and make like a smiley face. All right, we're gonna sew, Trev. Here we go. The next step in our process is to take our scissors and cut around the the lines. Um, so what I do, I give myself about a quarter of an inch um, for my seam allowance and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut just a little bit above but then I'm going to cut along these completely straight lines. So sometimes when I'm sitting here and cutting things out, I like to think about things that I don't normally have time for because now I have all the time in the world. And so, I don't know, I just, I, I like to think about weird things like, like Michael Buble seems like he'd be kind of a dick in person, but he's still really cute and I'd probably do him. So I left, I left a little bit of a seam allowance right there. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I'm gonna cut little notches. I can't cut into the seam, but I gotta cut this little bit down because what's gonna happen is this mask is going to fold out and I wanna get this seam looking as good as I can, so. Um, and it's just gonna make it a lot easier to deal with. So now we cut a little more. And you have to really focus if you're a little bit inebriated in any way because it's really easy to cut like down through that seam and then you have a hole in the front of your mask and then it does no goddamn good. So, like why is John Hamm the sexiest man alive? Like he's just gorgeous, everything. Oh just really hard not to fantasize about John Hamm. Okay, but I'm gonna iron this so that what I can do is have it folded up on 
both of the edges so it looks like the bottom of a clam. And then that's going to make the pocket where you put your little filter filters. Fil filters. So you don't get the Rona. Okay, I'm going to plug in my iron. Now I'm just going to sew that little part right there. And I'm going to sew it on both sides. And I'm going to do it for the other, the piece that I'm going to put on the other side, which this one happens to be when Snoopy is being the Red Baron. And this fabric is probably, I don't know, 20 years old. My mom pulled it out from the vault and she had a bunch of it. And so I am making a gurgillion Snoopy masks so that people can wear them and not share this dumb disease. And then nobody else has to die because I care. I am doing this for America. But so chunky soup cans. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have the piece that we have done together. And then I have another piece that I did without you while I was uh, sober. And therefore, it has extremely uh, sharp lines. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my purple one and I'm going to turn this so that it is right side out. And then I am going to put it inside my Snoopy piece. And you can see this is the right side. So I'm putting right sides together. And then I am going to um, work those so that the two seams in the middle matches. So those, can you see that? It's really difficult, but anyway, but those two seams line up. And then I'm gonna sort of get it so that those two are lined up. And then I am going to take my sewing machine and sew all along this and then all along this and I'm not gonna film that because you'll be able to see. Okay, there we hold on. Yeah. All right. I bet John Ham's got a big old hog. I'd like to find out. Okay, and then so now I have this whole top portion is sewn together. And now I'm going to repeat the process for the other side. And I'm just going from side to side. We leave these open because these are where our filter pockets are. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing all over again. On the tutorial where I learned how to do this, they're like, pin them in place. And I'm like, straight pins are for suckers. Like, I don't need that, especially not with how fast I'm trying to go on these things so sit like straight pins just slow me down real quick I'm just gonna trim my threads here we go so now what we're gonna do we have basically it's like a deflated mask balloon kind of like my boobs after gravity okay so we are going to turn it so that it is right side out the next part, we're gonna take our um, iron and we're gonna iron this seam. It is a pain in the butt, but you gotta do it because otherwise it is really difficult to try and sew it and roll it with your fingers at the same time. So I just save myself a little bit of heartache and I just iron the crap out of it. So um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. I don't know where your squeaky bell is. Okay, so now we're gonna iron. Are you gonna help me? No? Okay. 
and I'm just going to use my fingers and just sort of try and work the fabric to the very edge so there's the least amount of fabric inside that seam. And this is the part of this whole process that is the most annoying because it takes so long to like really get each one of them worked out. But we are almost got almost 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 and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so now we have the mask and those seams along the side or along the top and the bottom have now been ironed and they're very flat and so that is going to help give it some support and stability to its shape. So next what we're going to do is we are going to, hello sweet boy, we are going to um, go back to our sewing machine and we're going to put in our um, our top stitch around the top and that will keep this mask staying holding together basically and then we're gonna put on our elastic loops and we're done and as I am running this top stitch um, I am doing it I mean right along the edge I'm not going in very far at all um, because you want to have as much space as possible to be able to work that filter in so you want to try and get it as as wide open and flat as you possibly can so all right here we go and this part doesn't take long at all run my back stitch boom and now if you can see it because i'm only using white thread i've just run that top stitch right along the edge um, i'm going to trim these threads and then i'm going to do the other side and then the very last step is elastic. This is a quarter inch elastic and it's the flat kind that tends to feel a little bit easier on the ears. The goal is we want to get these comfortable so that people will actually fucking wear them so we can get over this. <laughs> okay, elastic. So what you're going to do, um, I'm going to do two loops um, and I'm going to measure this out. I like to have my elastic pieces at six inches. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I have the elastic tucked into the edge of the pocket. See, it's like a little mask vagina. Okay. And then, so I've got that inserted in here, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of feel for where the edge of it is, and I can feel it's right about here. And then my goal is to sew in the middle of that, and I'm gonna go down, back, down, back, down. So I try and give it five passes total so that I know that that is going to be really solid in there. So, forward, back, forward, back, forward, and done. Okay, and I'll trim all the threads in a second. So now what I do is give it a quick tug test, just like they do with condoms at the Trojan factory. And then I'm gonna take this loop and make sure that I it isn't twisted, and then I'm gonna insert the other end onto the other side and then look we have a little elastic loopy do for our ears and uh, same thing I'm gonna do five passes on that elastic just to make sure that it really stays in there and then I'm going to repeat this process on the other side boom bitches yeah we have a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my tutorial. I think you're neat.